First game of the ALDS. We'll see the Oakland Athletics as they take on the Los Angeles Angels at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Major League Baseball, only on 2K Sports. A great beginning to the postseason is about to begin. These two ball clubs surviving the regular season and now a division series. Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Tremendous force at the plate. Maybe the game's best ball player right now, Albert Poole. A devoted crowd tonight as we get a glance at Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Starting pitcher, we'll see Jared Weaver. Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? Well, the offense is going to be important to support this good right-handed pitcher on the mound today. He's facing a great lineup. This team could put some runs up on the board. So if his club could score early, it could take some of the pressure off of him and allow him to get in the strike zone a little earlier in the count. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, Adam Dunn is a player that brings excitement to the game of baseball. Most players, when you think of exciting, you think of speed, stealing bases, hitting triples. Now, that's not Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn's excitement comes from he's either going to hit at 600 feet or he's going to take three of the mightiest swings you've ever seen and come up empty. So Coco Crisp will lead it off. And when you look at the Angels, Steve, what do you think about these guys in this game? I mean, the percentages say that the team that wins game one more than likely ends up winning the series. So you don't want to play with it. You just want to go after it and be aggressive and get out in front early and have the hometown crowd behind you. Weaver sets, throws, swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Yeah, getting out to that fast start, we, we've said it over and over again, but it's those numbers you're talking about that are the liner towards the hole. Pull holes, a dive, he's up. And he'll scramble, take it himself for the out. Whoa, what a play. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. Now we'll take a quick look at the Angels, how they'll be taking the field defensively. And how do you like who's out there, John? Well, in this day and age, a lot of guys, if they're not hitting, they're not very useful to their team. Eric Ibar's not that guy. He can change the complexion of a game with his glove, with his arm, and with his instincts. And that's a lot to be said for a guy who has now made himself a pretty good offensive player. He has become one of the better guys at that position in his league. There's a strike. Weaver got him looking. And here's the pitch. Strike well, two. maybe he needs a little vision clarity here. That one he went after, and it was clearly in the dirt. And Josh Reddick goes down swinging. That's strike three. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at bats. You get it done in a hurry. And Donaldson's turn to hit. Boy, that one is stung up the middle. 
Gets through, and that'll go as the game's first hit. He's trying for second. Well, with that big two-out hit right there in this inning, you know the manager's in there telling him, let's not let him breathe. Let's not let him get that third out. Let's score before this inning's over. Runner on for Adam Dunn. Ball! Weaver couldn't find the strike zone that time. Ready with a 1-0. Strike Called one. strike away, and it's even at one. A very effective pitch. The changeup painting the outside corner. Now you can go back hard in or go soft away again. Cuts on that fastball. Can't make contact. One and two. The one-two pitch. Hit on the ground. And Kendrick in position. He's out. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Good work there. Jared Weaver works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. Oakland starter for our ball game. Steve, as he gets into this Angels lineup, what's he looking at? The key for Jason Hamill is the ability to command the fastball. He doesn't have great secondary stuff, but it becomes better when he works ahead in the count and can expand the zone. Oh. He deals. That one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Listen, he's not one to get too fancy. Two one count. He's going to come with a fastball. I'm betting on it. Two one on the way. Strike two one pitch, a fastball. Swung on and missed. Two and two. But Gary, he's aggressive on the two two count. So if he's going to go down, he's going down swinging. Let's see if the pitcher can hit his spot. The pitch. Swings, pops it up. Right side of the infield. That's one away. Now we'll take a look at the Angels offense. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Eric Ibar's a rarity. He's a free swinger for a guy that doesn't have much power. Most power guys who are free swingers, they can hit the ball out of the ballpark. That's not Eric Ibar's game. He's going to hit for a high average. Not There's contact. He drove it well. And Crisp takes care of that one. Two away. Here's a look at the A's on defense. I take a look at the defense here, the best fielding defense in the American League. They make all the plays, and the key is make the routine plays, and they get it done. Oh! That's hit foul by Pujols. There's a swing and a ball hit high. Way back there. It is long gone. Goodbye. The Angels have the long ball. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball, 1-0. Angels get themselves a lead right here, Gary. Good approach at the plate by this Anaheim team. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. They are happy, Steve. Uh, this output is getting this game going in a hurry. Well, standing around on the field in the top half of the inning didn't seem to affect them. They came in swinging the bat. And we'll look to see if the pitching can settle in. The 1-1 on the way. A bouncing ball to shortstop. That ends up foul. Hamilton isn't fooled by that pitch, and the count is evened up. And Josh Hamilton swings right through that pitch for strike three. Off to a good start here. They put one over in the first. The Angels lead it one to nothing. And Moss settles in. Pitch from Weaver, too high for a ball. The 1-0 now. 
Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. Here it comes 2 0. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. A lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose 3 0, but I say let it fly. This might be the best pitch he sees in the whole at bat. Not looking at a fastball 3 1 now. A pretty good pitch to hit right there. He takes it for a strike. Clearly, he didn't have the green light. Swing and a hot shot. Dive. Ibar up with it. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. Back to had a dive and still had time to get up and make the throw. That's how hard that was hit. Well, the accuracy of that throw is what's tremendous. When you're moving that quickly, rushing to get to your feet, it's awfully tough to be that accurate. And it's Lowry batting. Batting 250 lifetime, 3 for 12 record against Weaver. Makes its way through for a single. He's going to try to stretch it. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out. That base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. Number seven man at the plate. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. And, of course, as a pitcher, you've got to keep your eye on which pitches are effective on any given day and which ones aren't. Here's a look at which pitches he's thrown that have generated hits. This guy's four seamers been hit twice already. I think the thing to recognize here is the only hits he's given up have come on that pitch. So he's going to have to be more careful about when and where he goes with it from here on out. Swung on, hit this one towards Trout. Two men have been put away. Oh, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. Jaso will be at the plate. Hitless, six career at bats against Weaver. Here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch is outside, 1-0. Oh. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. 1-0 oh delivery is a fastball in there, 1-1. Hit sharply towards the hole. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. Well, two hits the last game, and you can see he was getting a little confidence as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. We'll see what Sogard can do with the bat. Well, they catch a little bit of a break here in a jam with runners on base, but a guy who not typically is a very good hitter in this situation. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The Angels still enjoying this lead. Eric Ibar leading it off. He delivers. Swung on, that's it well. It's going to be Ruddick. That one's glove. And it's Kendrick batting. And in this lineup for Mike Sosha, a key role played by this guy. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, that's exactly where you want to throw that breaking ball. You start it on the outside part of the plate and let it break away. That's what he did, and he got him reaching. Oh. Inside for a ball, evens the count at one. Ball. Kendrick, foul ball. Line fair down the line in right. And that's a base hit. Kendrick on it first. So David Freeze will stand in. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hitting that single. Now they got something to work with. Well, David Freeze to me has established himself as a star in the making. He has a chance to not only be a star, but a superstar. Love what I saw in him last season in the postseason. He can do so many things with the bat in his hand. Hit the ball the other way. Hit for average. But clutch is something that he added to his repertoire. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Second out in the inning. 
Well, K-Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at-bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Navarro at the plate. Slider just misses 1-0. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. Here's the 1-0. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Oh, what a piece of... And he ends up getting that base hit. He really has to refocus himself and settle down. And the first baseman in. Last time up, flew out. First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time, 1-0. See if he's getting balls or strikes here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what happens when he falls behind in this game. First pitches out of the zone. Four hits have come in those at bat. So strike one is critical. And Hamilton's going to play it. And he's there to retire the side. How many of these good innings does he have inning? We're finding out Jared Weaver. He keeps the. And here's Josh Hamilton leading it up. Right now in the night 0 for 1 against Hamill. Well, last time up, he struck out on the slider. It started in the zone, broke out of the zone. A very tough pitch to hit. He watches the first pitch. That ends up in the zone. Strike one. Well, that kind of break on the curveball in that kind of location, it can lead to success. That was a good pitch right there. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. And this is a fair ball heading towards the corner. Hamilton's heading for third. And he'll stop at third. That's a three-bagger. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. It's eyeball. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air to right field. It's still going. He heads up. Here comes the runner for the plate. And Hamilton will score a productive hit. Checking the WPA graph, let's measure what the RBI means. I'll tell you what, this is what you want to do. Get runners on in front of this guy, and he knows how to capitalize. Sometimes he knows he needs the big base hit. This time he knew, put it in play, pick up the run. And it's Kendrick batting. And the offense here is putting on the show. Right now, they're in charge of this ball game. Well, this lineup has to be very happy to get out to an early lead in this game. It builds their confidence and allows them to be more selective at the plate. And as we've seen so often in this game, you can never have too many. You get runs piled up early, sometimes then the whole thing shuts down. So once you get this started, you want to keep going. Exactly right. You want that early run support in the game because it does take the pressure off later. And hitters can go up there being a little bit more free swinging. You're Slider in there and gets him looking two down. Well, whatever the setup was that he wanted, he got it, and he was off balance at the plate. Well, a great sequence of pitches right there to keep the batter off balance, and a great approach by the pitcher. And let's take a look as Freeze stands in to hit. Hamill pitching real well in this one. Good, solid effort. Now, here we go with a breakdown of pitches that are outside the strike zone. You can see if he's getting the hitters to chase those pitches. Well, I like this performance. Not his best overall, but a very good job of what he's doing. Getting the hitters with two strikes out of the chase the ball out of the zone for the strikeouts. At any time you've got great command and great stuff and you're locating your pitches, you can throw it anywhere you want in the strike zone at any time. Unbelievably tough on the hitters. Pitch on the way. Freeze hits this one. And Freeze has got himself a base hit. And the throw. Safe at second. He gets in there. Plenty of time. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Navarro at the plate. 0 for 1 thus far. And here's the delivery. Grounded up the middle. Lowry picks it up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they score. Jaso will be at the plate. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. The dive and a spectacular play. That's an incredible diving catch in the outfield. Boy, take a look at that. That ball sends trouble as soon as it comes off the bat. I couldn't believe he could run that down and make the play. Terrific job. We'll see what Sogard can do with the bat. First pitch on the way. 
And Weaver misses low that time. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. 1-1 one, one on the way. Back up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. That'll bring Coco Crisp to the plate. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light he can go at any time flew out last time first pitch inside with a fastball ball one well he's trying to run that fastball low and inside just couldn't quite oh and he takes off for second and it's caught by Kendrick it's Reddick at the plate 0 for 2 thus far two outs and a man on first and the first pitch. Ball. And that's the ball. Weaver too far outside. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a line at a right center. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. They shifted the defense around to the right, Gary, which is what they want to do. It's where he normally hits the ball, but he still was able to find a hole. Base not. And swung on, hit. And that's in there. The A's will score. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. Two out and two on for Adam Dunn. Big time production. That's a very important inning, and the offense knows it. And the pitch from Weaver. Too far inside. That'll go for a ball. On the ground, played by Pujols. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The A's showing some fight. They're gaining ground here. Chris Iannetta, he'll lead it off. How's he delivering on the these first pitches? Let's look and see. You know, working ahead in the count, how important is it? Well, we've seen in this. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Moss. And he meanders over to put it away. And it rolls around to the top again. Last trip to the plate came away with a nice single off Hamill. Well, I've seen the off-speed pitch once already. Seen to pick it up early. If he goes right back one. to it in this at bat, I would think he's got to make sure that it's down and away in a zone where he can't drive it. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hit. This one to Crisp. And he puts that one away for number two. Mike Trout gets to swing now with two away. And the first pitch. First pitch way out of the zone ball one. But when you see where that pitch ended up up and into the hitter as a hitter you have to think to yourself all right he has to be going down and away with this next one to try to get me to chase. Oh. One one a fastball inside two and one now. And uh, look now at the pitch type distribution. One of the hallmarks of being effective is mixing up your pitches. Look, guys, he has got to mix it up a little bit more than what he's done. So far, going just with that four-seamer, he's going to get in trouble. And I find it interesting, too, guys. He's not really throwing the circle chains very much. And that's a pitch I really would like to see him take advantage of to try to get some of these guys out. So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. So Jason Hamill, he's got him one, two, three. He has six strikeouts now. And the Athletics coming up next. And Moss settles in. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. And that's the ball. Weaver too far outside. One oh on the way. He swings and drives this one. And Trout. No problem for him as he gets that out. And it's Lowry batting. No outs yet for him. Couple of at-bats and a pair of hits off Weaver. 
We know he's been vulnerable with the breaking ball. He got a hit off of it last time up. You may have to start to think about a different sequence of pitches. Ball one started off the at bat. It's one and zero. Now his go-to pitch is the slider, and he's got to throw it to this guy as he tends to struggle early in his bat. Ooh, that looked pretty good, but he falls behind two and zero. Here it comes. Strike Called one. strike that time, two and one. The key for any pitcher is establishing the four seam fastball. Once you get that working, it gives you so many different options. Line drive oh. fouled off towards first. It's fouled off. Two two pitch. There is a swing and a liner and that gets the tying run on board. He's going to try to stretch it. Well anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be and he's on now with one out and the number seven batter in the box. Oh for two thus far. The pitch fastball just misses one and oh. Here's the 1 0. 1 0 pitch, circle change. That's over. 1 and 1. But Gary, the numbers seem to indicate he likes to go fastball on a 1 1 count, trying to get back ahead again. To left center, gets down, the go ahead runs on base. And with that right hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. This a great situation for some offense. Jaso will be at the plate. Last time up, flew out. And it's a one. Weaver gets him looking. You don't get many curveballs like this from this guy. He doesn't hang. Swung on, that is hit. Dive, high bar, up with it. And he will take it himself for the out. What an individual effort. And bang, what a collision at the plate. And out, the catcher stood him up and made the play. So they pick up a couple of hits in the inning, but do not score. The Angels 2, Oakland 1. And so Albert Pujols leading it off. Homer back in the first inning. And he starts him out. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now great work by the pitcher there. He's normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. And Josh Hamilton up now in his seventh season in the bigs. Can't get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. Well, it's uh, keeping up with the hit trends in this one. Let's take a look at the pitches that he's thrown on the mound that have been put in hit up the middle. And that gets down. Hamilton on it first. And that'll bring up Eric Ibar. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. Drove in a run earlier in the game. And the first pitch hit up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. Uh, that's threading the needle right there. A little seeing eye base hit. We'll take those anytime you can get them right between the infielders. That'll drive infielders crazy. Take any kind of hit, huh? And it's Kendrick batting called out on strikes in his last appearance. And even though they're losing in this ball game, they're going to keep that pen active. They've got both the right and left hander up. Well you have to go to the bullpen to stop the bleeding so you don't give up any more runs and give your offense a chance to come back. Now, Gary although they have a lead it still is fairly a close ball game right here. You have speed at second base. I might give him the green light and see if he can get over to third. There's a strike at the knees on one. And Jaso calling for the pitch. Kendrick, foul ball. And he watches that one travel down. Two and two. Wide fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. It's scooped up. And he throws it. Oh, now they can all run. And Hamilton will score.
One away, David Freeze gets that. Reed sang a base last time. He had a double off Hamill. Well, he's going to have to change the sequence of pitches that he went to the last time, especially throwing that slider, which is the pitch he got the hit on. And with the runner only 90 feet away from home, he has a good chance at an RBI. On his double last time up, that wasn't the case as no runs came of it. The pitch. Ooh, that one is just outside the zone, and it's two and one. That's a swing and a miss by Freeze, and with the strike, the count's even. Well, he wasn't trying to hit a single the other way with that swing. He's trying to take that one. A high pop-up. And the play made by Lowry. That's two gone. Now, there's nothing worse than getting your pitch and just getting underneath it and popping out to short. Not going to be happy with that. Navarro at the plate. Grounded out his last time through. Oh, and he dropped it. And Ivar will score. So he's aboard on the error. And more importantly, a run scores. RBI opportunity. Chris Iannetta. One for two in the ballgame. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. And Moss. That's caught. Side is retired. They pick up two runs on two hits and leave. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on two. Hit in the air to left center. Able to make the grab on that one. One out. And it's Coco Crisp now. Lined out last time up. First pitch to him. Ball. Pitch from Weaver. Too high for a ball. Offensively now, they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the one seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And Trout roams over, puts it away. It's Reddick at the plate. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a smash. Trout's there. And that'll retire the side. And they've got the lead in this ball. And the right fielder batting again. He'll start the home half of the seventh. A bad will be coming on to take over on the mound. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Well, if you can get a start like this every time out from your starting pitcher, you're going to take it. He kept you in the ball game, pitched pretty well, and now turns it over to the bullpen. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out, one away. Uh, the pitch is too close to take, but you've got to try to make contact with it. Swings right through it, strike three. And doing the pitching, we'll watch Ryan Cook as the Athletics decide to bring in a relief. That swung on, hit on the ground. Two down. And a chance here with two down for Albert Pujols. Homer back in the first inning. Ball. Fastball taken high. One and oh. Right Here's the one oh. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at one and one. One one pitch slider taken for a strike one and two. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Ground ball. So guard. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And they aren't able to make any noise here in this half inning. Donaldson's turn to hit and an RBI single his last time to the plate. First pitch on the way. Ball. And that's a ball. Weaver too far outside. Obviously getting late right now, Gary, and 
I think that from the pitching perspective, you'll trade an out for a run at Ball this two. stage of the game, understanding that for every out you get, you're closer to winning. Ball. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3-0. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. And he takes that one and misses for ball four. Well, it looked like he was taken all the way right there, Gary. Walked him on four straight pitches. Now it's Adam Dunn. The first pitch. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. He delivers. A liner headed for the hole. One. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. And Moss settles in. He flew out his last time up. One down, runner at first. And it's a one. Weaver gets him looking. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has... Swing and lined up the middle. That gets down. The tying run coming up. He's on his way to the plate. Andy will score. Great base running. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Hi. Lowry has a turn in the box. I'll tell you what, this is one of those decisions you can go either way. He's pitched pretty well to this point, but it is getting oh, late. One. Do you want to take any chances? The manager decides to go to the pen. You've got to call this promising if you're on the offensive side of it. It's an important part of the ball game. Get that ball game tied up and then move on. And this one's up the middle. Played by Kendrick. That's one out. And not quick enough for Freeze to get that double play. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to scoring. If you like baseball, you gotta love a situation. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Trout's there, and that'll retire the side. Well, the guy on the mound looks pretty good at the moment, but uh, nevertheless, we got warm-up action. Yeah, and I don't think they have a need for that right. So Jared Weaver out of the inning. Now, Angels. Home right. half of the eighth inning. And here's Josh Hamilton leading it up. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Number 61 will come All in and one. pitch. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Well, managers face so many different decisions during the course of the game. And as the game goes on... Swing and a hot shot. Mercy, that is right at the pitcher. Well, you got to hope he's all right. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. So with one away, it'll be Eric Ibar. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Here's the first pitch. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Jaso on to first, that's out number two. Gotta like the creativity, trying to get on any way that you can, but just didn't locate that Bunt where he needed to to beat it out and be safe. And it's Kendrick batting. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. And he gets that one down, his second hit. Two for four today. Well, sometimes you don't think much of a two-out hit, but if they can continue to capitalize and push another run across, they can extend their slim lead. Here is David Freeze. Here's the delivery. Swing and a rocket towards short. And Freeze has got himself a base hit. He throws. You have to like the aggressiveness on the bases here. Good piece of hitting, but they're going first to third. You take the extra base. Those are the little things that lead to victory. Navarro at the plate. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. And we're going to have a meeting on the mound. A little discussion. Now a little discussion. Maybe to talk about how to approach this Ball. next hitter. Get a sense of where this pitcher is. He said bat underway. 1-0 after that first pitch missed. Well, he has a lot of confidence in that junk repertoire. And so look for this 1-0 pitch being something crazy. Change up just misses. He runs it to 3 0. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up line towards second. Oh, he's going to try to make the play. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs with a couple of hits. Jaso will be at the plate. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. 
Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department. With Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. That's one down. Uh, one out here in the ninth inning. They still need two, so they need to get people on an advantage. base runners do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit Gary. We'll see what Sogard can do with the bat. Last time up flew up and it's North smash towards the middle and it is in there that's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Well what an at bat right there you know you're talking about a guy coming off the bench cold it's one of the toughest things to do in all of baseball and he made it look easy. Punto is going to come in and run here. Now the first pitch. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. And at first that one was going to look playable, but uh, nothing doing. It got away. And he fouls off another one. Shot towards the hole, and it's in there. The tying run on board. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. There he is, Josh Reddick. But, Gary, he struggles with runners on base, so look for them to go right at him at the plate. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. That change up away is one of the most effective. There's a swing and a ground ball. Dive, high bar, up with it. The slide, and he is in there, safe. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Oh! And Donaldson's turn to hit, and a golden opportunity late in the ball game. The key is at least get one oh! run in here, make contact, and stay out of the double play. A swing and a foul off to the right side. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Now it's two away. And that will keep the bases loaded. That's a big second out right there. Holding on to a slim lead. Now he's got a chance to get out of this thing without any major trouble. Now it's Adam Dunn. And a fly ball could be the last out. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. A uh, big postseason victory right here. And doing it for the hometown crowd. So they're happy and they live to play another day. As we check out the highlight reel of our player of the game. What a pleasure to witness a ball game like we saw today from Josh Hamilton. And a lot of these times you get multi-hit games, but they really don't mean anything. This one, though, was very important because everything he did constituted them scoring runs. He set the table, he scored runs, and that's why he's our player of the game. What an outstanding affair. Uh, Gary, as a ball club, you really want to come out and dictate the tempo right from the start of the series, and they did that today. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon. to say that it's been running out of patience frustration you want some separation you want no placement within this mess i'm making 
I'm painfully aware of my mistakes And maybe you should break and escape from the situation Or take a little taste of the blame Then instead you full of hate Telling me get out your face, yeah You don't really want, you don't really want me You don't really want, you don't really want, you don't really want me to go No, you don't, that's just for show You don't really want, you don't really Threaten me, is that what you're telling me? Like if I don't step it up, what you gonna step from me? Where you gonna go? You next to me steadily. At this point, it's like I'm joined with your chemistry. Guess that it just wasn't meant to be our destiny. It's upsetting, so I gave you the best of me. All my friends are like, just let her leave. So go ahead and pretend that I set you free. What you don't really want, you don't really want me. You don't really want, you don't really want me to go. No, you don't, that's just for show. You don't really want, you don't really want me. You don't really want, you don't really want me to go. No, you don't, that's just for show.